Good morning, everyone. Uh, if you watched yesterday's video, you remember this area. This is the dam that was covered in canary grass, and then we uncovered it. Uh, today, we're back here. It's actually the same day, and I kind of thought about it, and I haven't removed a dam in like a couple of weeks, maybe a month. So, <laughs> you know, this is something I, I just couldn't, you know, leave. So today we're gonna remove it. Hopefully we're gonna open up this area and then allow all of this water to drain. With the grass settling a little, you can tell how all that water is pouring out. It's just seeping through all this canary grass. Man, this is so tricky. Hard. 
also this dam is actually a lot more complicated than I thought uh, the ground right here in front of it is super 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 soft I stepped in well yeah I was up to my waist basically and water that is just super deep the reason is because with all the sediment that just been building up that hasn't been able to wash away it just collected here and now you just have a huge layer of sediment that's probably a foot deep and it's super tricky it's either i step and i start sinking and i don't know this one's really challenging i guess the only way i can do it i can't do it from the front unfortunately because it's just too risky if i get up above my waist and i start sinking that's just stupid it's like quicksand at that point so we're just gonna have to stand right here and remove it like this that's all only really the only option i have if i want to remove this one but yeah this is definitely a tricky one the canary roots inside of the actual dam they're reinforcing that thing like crazy this thing is basically in a sense a concrete dam due to all the canary grass but let's keep going we're not gonna let this one stop us
we go. This thing right here, this is, I'll be honest, this is actually extremely hard, but it is draining now. As you can see, this area is getting relieved. Now you can see more canary grass, little uh, grass blades pop up. And it looks like there might even be another dam over there, looking at how the water level is over there. I don't even know, but let's get kind of a close up right here so you can see what I'm kind of talking about. So this is one of the areas that's pouring out. Basically all I did was just kind of dug out that little channel and it helped, it helped a lot. But because, let me just uh, angle real quick. If you look at this huge buildup right here, this is super tough. You have roots right there that are just mixed in with all of the dirt. They're mixed in with all the branches and stuff. And it just makes this super complicated like i don't know how to describe it but you know this isn't even that well built of a dam i think they just they were smart and they packed it with canary grass and the canary grasses do the rest so this is a very very well built dam i'll give them props to that and this is definitely something i'm gonna have to come in here and move especially before spring kicks in because you can already tell there's already fresh grass blades popping up even out of the water over there, like I was saying. So, you know, I want to get rid of it while the canary grass is more or less dormant instead of, you know, coming in here during spring or summer when it's at its strongest. But with the removal of this dam, I'm sure it's going to make a huge difference. Uh, now let's continue. I got my... Oh man, there's another dam over there. Wow. That's crazy. There's another dam in that grass too. I can see it right here. That is wild. Wow. We're gonna have to come in here and just weed whack this entire area. <laughs> okay, let's continue this dam and then we'll figure something out over there. <laughs> this is wild.
basically what I'm doing right now is uh, I'm taking all this dirt that's backing up or that's supporting the canary grass and I'm trying to get it out of here. I knew if it was just me this hard, I would have brought my trench in trouble. Dam did a lot of damage. There we go. I thought this would be a lot more, uh, a lot more dramatic, but apparently it's not. But I think I'm gonna move some more of this. this apart piece by piece now grass is the best workout. We're having a hard day to find some canary grass. It'll make your day even harder.
about. <clears throat> Focus on removing these top layers. <clears throat> so, it might be a little difficult to tell, but in this little area, you kind of have like a little groove that goes in, and the water level has dropped about a foot and a half since we've started. And with that foot and a half of drop, it's revealed another dam that's also hidden in there. And so, I mean, you can even tell it's evident by how the grass is sagging now. A lot of it's being uh, exposed now. And so, I'm not really sure where the ditch runs. I, pro I probably have like another three feet of dam I have to remove. It might be something like, like that. So, I don't know. I mean, I guess we can kind of find out. Let's do the depth check. This is always... The best thing to do is right there. Yeah, kind of surface. Yeah, so it runs about right there. So that means I have still a lot to go. Let's try to remove some more of this. Because this is this is emptying out pretty fast. And it's almost to the point where well it's empty. So yeah, let's do a little bit more. Try to get some of this canary grass cleaned out and then we'll probably wrap it up for the day. Oh, almost got it, almost got it. Wow, look at that. Look at that. That's a huge sucker right there. That was a good 30 pounds of weight. The wall is back. Oh, now it's just easy from here. Sorta.
we basically got the um, entire dam removed more or less. <clears throat> like I said, this is really challenging because of all that canary grass. Even right here in the front, <clears throat> basically what ended up happening is that there was no longer a ditch. This was just an actual like wall and basically everything from on this side that was farther up was just a lake because this was no longer uh, allowing the water to flow. I wouldn't even call it a dam, I would just call it a wall. It was literally blocking out the water and due to the, all the earth, like, you know, you have all this dirt, you have all this mud, you have all this canary grass, like this is, this was solid, this wasn't going anywhere. I think the removal of this, uh, this dam right here, and then probably the future removal of that, whatever's going on over there, that will be a huge change. And I think maybe even in the spring, if the water level drops enough, we'll probably just come in here and try to clean up all this overgrowth to expose the actual uh, ditch. I'm not even know, I don't even know why I'm doing that, but that'd be a pretty cool project to do. Just transform this entire thing so you have an actual like line. And uh, I guess being logical at this point, if there's a dam, you know, that's like what, 30 feet? Let's say 40 feet. If there's a dam that's 40 feet away from this one. There might even be another dam somewhere in between that super old dam and that one right there. So it might be every single 40 feet there's a dam somewhere, or 30. It might even be that there's a dam somewhere in there that's, you know, <laughs> the possibilities are endless at this point. But yeah, look at this. It's draining really nice. Uh, I guess tomorrow what I'll probably come end up doing is depending on how much this drains, I'll probably come back here uh, and remove or cut this grass up here and explore that. Actually, let's explore that today as well. Uh, another thing I want to point out real quick is that remember how the water, there's like a little waterfall effect going on right here. That's basically gone more or less. It's still, there's still water seeping through, but I think most of it is now being diverted to the actual ditch where it's supposed to be. So this area is slowly getting relieved. And if this area is getting relieved, that area is getting relieved and everything back there is getting relieved. So it's just a step-by-step -step process. Now I could probably have a better idea. Uh, I'm not sure how good of an idea, but as you can see, you have the water right here uh, in the ditch and then you have the water right there. So I thought this was all just one connection, one area being connected. But in reality, there's another dam that runs right there. So it might be something like it starts from there and it runs like this seeing the outline of the grass but i guess let's walk over here and confirm so i see that body of water right there it's a lot higher than this one and i technically should be walking on solid ground right now so yeah you hear that waterfall yep there's another dam right there oh except this one's really this one's really funky though see I think it runs like this, and then it goes like that. So this might be one of those odd design ones, but you know, nevertheless, it's still doing its job very good. Yeah, look at that. This is just years and years and years and years and years of canary grass that's built up. So this gonna be fun to mow. And then hopefully, if the water level drops enough. Oh, I should be able to walk in the ditch, sort of. I don't really want to walk in there because of the little encounter I had over there where I almost got stuck several times. So I have to be kind of careful with that. But I'd really like to come in here and clean out this entire side of the bank and then get on this side of the bank too. Just clear these branches up so you can see the outline of the ditch. Because right now it looks like it might be something like that goes off right there and then something goes around the corner who even knows might even be that the ditch actually runs like that <laughs> who knows anything's possible at this point i don't know I don't, I don't really have any much to say except there's a dam right there that dam needs to be removed the removal of that dam will allow even more water to flow so this is just this is a plus good stuff 
Now from this angle, you have a pretty good idea of how much the water has dropped and then how much the water is raised over there. The thing I wanna do right now is I wanna run over to the culvert. Maybe I can notice something as I'm walking. So over here at the culvert area, I don't see much of a difference. Well, I, w I didn't come, in, come over here to compare anything. So <laughs> yeah, there's not really gonna be a difference you can see. This looks the same as always. And they still have that little old dam right there. Actually, 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 hold on. This water is really dirty. There's a lot of sediment floating around in this water. And it's not coming from here. So that means the removal of that dam is pushing all of that sediment out. I think. Maybe. That's the only thing I can think of. Because normally when I come over here, the water is super calm. So I'm just going to say that the removal of that dam pushed a lot of sediment out. And so now we have, um, I guess we've established the connection between this area, that top dam. And now we have to remove that other dam. And then the other two dams. And then that really huge dam. So there's a lot of dams we have to remove. Who knew that there were so many dams here? And then, you know, the culvert pipe. This thing is just nice and quiet now. It used to be a big problem. Now it's just now it's just there, pouring water out in here. So that's cool. Okay, so we're about to conclude the video, and this is the <clears throat> one of the other dams that we're doing. This is the pretty big one that was holding back a lot of water. Uh, the water was up to the point. Well, it was about three feet higher than it was. You can tell the tree line of that tree, super black, and there's green moss. <clears throat> but I do see some signs of attempts to rebuild it. There's a couple of sticks that are here that weren't here before. So it seems that the beavers are trying to get in here. <clears throat> but basically my entire thought was is that the removal of the dam we just did would uh, basically drop the water level here. But since there's the other dam, I think I have to first remove that dam <clears throat> Oops, excuse me and then the water level will drop here and then when it drops here there won't be any water flowing into this area which means that we can do more deconstruction work we can do uh, i guess a little bit more maintenance work or what we can do we can trench this thing out <clears throat> even more to make it even deeper and then kind of get it more or less level to this side and then go up to that other dam and then remove those other dams but yeah this is the conclusion for this video thank you for watching if you stay to this you know to the to the end to the conclusion big like to you if you enjoyed this video please consider subscribing uh have a good night god bless each and every one of you bye